Hi, I'm Clinton Hahn from Rode Microphones, and today we have the very illustrious Jason Wingrove in the studio. Very illustrious. Jason Wingrove is a Sydney-based director and cinematographer who shoots mainly TV commercials, docos, film, and high-end corporate projects, both here in Australia and around the world. So, Jace, what's in your kit bag today? What is in my kit bag? Well, actually, I'm gonna start with the bag itself. This yeah. is another awesome Aussie company, Crumpler. Uh, just a really nice, lightweight, lovely feeling bag. You can fit a lot in here. This is sometimes, I use this if I'm uh, just traveling pretty light, like just, you know, if I'm just directing, not necessarily shooting with racks and racks of gear and just, uh, or going to a trade show or something. Just put a MacBook Air in here and, and some of this stuff. Everything fits it, in there. It kind of all fits in there because of things like this, which I thought was really cool. I yep. use this a lot. This is called the Grid It, I think, by Cocoon. Nice. And this is just a whole bunch of sort of crisscrossed kind of um, elastic-y straps things and just... And you've got a Mophie juice pad, you've got your, your G-Tech. Yeah. Yep, G-Tech driver always sort of travel with that because at the end of a shoot I can get the DIT guy, the data guys to chuck the rushes on there and then when I get home I can dock that. Little torch. Yeah, all these little things. If you're in a hire car, you can never trust yeah. that your hire car is going to have Bluetooth in it. Great idea. Yeah, it's a great little thing. Next bit of kit. Right, the Sunto Tandem. This is a sighting compass and a sighting inclinometer in one. And so if rather than using the quite fallible apps, I think, for predicting the sun, if you're looking, trying to find out where the sun's going to be in a particular time of day, if you can, using a chart, or there's a lot of other really good resources on the net to find out where the sun's going to be, as long as you know the compass bearing and then the inclination, you can use this to spot really accurately uh, and mechanically and no, you know, with no doubt, because a lot of those apps can be completely inaccurate. Look, it brings up a really interesting point because we're in today's day and age, we're so obsessed by cameras and all sorts of things. As a cinematographer or even a filmmaker, this is like such a key piece. Yeah, absolutely. Equipment. Really so, small and nice, and, nice yeah. and light to keep. And it's just also, it's obviously just a compass as well. You don't yeah. have to have the inclement thing. Great. Next thing. Ah, well, if I am traveling, sometimes I can't take my own gear, which is all beautifully set up ergonomically for me. Vocus hand grips. I know you have these. Mm. I have a sort of uh, a bit of a fetish for these. Uh, this is the most beautiful, most comfortable hand grip you'll ever find. Not cheap, but uh, they are worth it. And uh, you will really feel very comfortable, very one with your camera with these things. And these beautiful hand grips, the, the beautiful extensions that they make you mm. really hard not to get your camera very comfy. Very universal, I carry these with me everywhere as well. Yeah, exactly. Even if I can't have a, my own camera with me, I can make it feel like mine just, just, just with this. So you've used this on your, your RED, your F55, your FS7. Yep, exactly. Yep. Epic. Yep. yep. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Next on the list, uh, why is there a broadcaster in your kit? I've had a uh, Procaster and a Podcaster in the past, and this is, I guess this is a notch up from that. This uh, sounds mm. so good. It's so warm, so full. It's a uh, condenser rather than a dynamic, and just makes you sound all that more. Great. Yeah. Like you've grown a pair. That's cool. You have uh, some... Some lenses there yeah, are made by dog shit. Absolutely. This is uh, a company I love. They do custom lenses, uh, lens modifications. Mm -hmm. uh, the modification of these particular ones is that they've added an oval iris blade inside here. You really can't stop the lenses down. You have to control your light through ND Jeez. filters. So really, you want to shoot wide open with these. In fact, it's on that camera right there. Mm. It gives a beautiful anamorphic kind of, or widescreen kind of bokeh or look to the out of focus highlights. Mm. This is just some footage I've done with them and just beautiful, to see what I mean about the oval yeah. highlights and, and things. You've it's shot a, a lot of documentaries look. with this, huh? I mean, uh, a lot of, yeah. you've done a lot of jobs with I've them, done, basically. Yeah, even like full, you know, television commercials with a full, you know, right. whole client and video village all watching and no one comes up mm. and taps me on the shoulder and says, ah, oh, there's something wrong with your lenses. Yeah. So it's a lovely look, but people don't know why. You just just feels lovely without mm. uh, really, you know, without causing any post-production pain. Mm. And that's why they call him Jason Wide Open and Grove. <laughs> All right, Jason, great to have you here today again. Thanks, Thanks for coming in, appreciate it. Uh, for more information on your work, where can we find your stuff? My website, yep. wingrove.tv, or yep. Twitter is at wingrove. Great. There you go. Till the next episode of What's in Your Kit Bag, this is Clinton and Jason signing off. Thanks for watching.